SS President Coolidge in Luganville, Vanuatu SS President Coolidge was an American luxury ocean liner that was completed in 1931. She was operated by dollar steamship lines until 1938, and then by American President lines until 1941. She served as a troopship from December 1941 until October 1942, when she was sunk by mines in Espiritu Santo in the New Hebrides, part of current day Vanuatu. President Coolidge had a sister ship, SS President Hoover, completed in 1930 and lost when she ran aground in a typhoon in 1937. In 1980 Vanuatu won independence from France and Britain, and on November 18, 1983, the government of the New Republic declared that no salvage or recovery of any artifact would be allowed from President Coolidge. Since then the ship has been used for recreational diving. Divers see a largely intact luxury cruise liner and a military ship. They can swim through numerous holds and decks. There are guns, cannons, jeeps, helmets, trucks, and personal supplies, a beautiful statue of the lady, a porcelain relief of a lady riding a unicorn, chandeliers, and a mosaic tile fountain. Coral grows around with many creatures such as reef fish, barracuda, lionfish, sea turtles, and moray eels. President Coolidge is perhaps the most accessible shipwreck of her size and type. The wreck is one of the most desirable dives due to relatively shallow sight, easy beach access, and visibility. The depths involved mean that, with care and decompression stops, Recreational divers can explore large parts of the wreck without specialized equipment. The massive size of the wreck, combined with the gradual downward slope, mean that care must be taken monitoring depth, as the diver's horizontal frame of reference may be skewed, preventing awareness of the continual gradual descent. Like us and join us at Extreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.